She's giving chase, as is the number one player in the world, Jin Young Ko. Three in a row at the seventh to get the four under. So Jin Young Ko within strike. That bogey doesn't sort of derail the momentum a little bit for her. The conditions out here are, are not particularly great, and that's going to leave an interesting chip. Plenty of green to use, though. She was aimed way over there. And you want to get this one close. You want to not go back to back bogeys. Oh, it's, nice. Yeah, it stopped quickly on her. Was not expecting that. No. Well, she's going to have that left to save par. Be aggressive with this putt. Avoids back to back bogeys. Good up and down after a poor tee shot from the world number one. Out in 32, it's a good score. With fairway wood here. I mean, ideally, staying out of that rough is becoming more and more important the wetter these conditions get. Good strike. Going on the course at the moment among the contenders. It's a little draw towards the hole. Good spot. Yeah, the golf course has been pretty firm up until this morning. A lot. This is Jin Young Ko for her birdie at the 10th. And it's almost like she's putting up a, a little valley here. There's a slope to the right and a slope to the left. Straight in the hole. Her putting stroke looks really impressive so far today, Karen. Just so rhythmic. Fifth birdie. Just that lone bogey coming at the par four eight. She's got to hug that tree line. Like I said, there is n not a huge amount of grass behind the ball. She got quite lucky with the lie. Yeah, second shot in a row for Jin Young. Just doesn't quite bounce up as much as she expected. But again, at this golf swing, look at how beautifully centered she is. Wants to try and hit down as much as possible. Come into the ball steeply so that her not too much club gets stuck in the rough. Beautiful impact position. Look at her head right over the ball and wonderful extension through. Trying to avoid allowing the club face to close. Club face, the grooves, and the ball. 2-11. Code chip to here. This for par. Be another bogey for Jin Young Ko, having dropped a shot at the eight. Tee to green, she's normally so precise. I mean, you'd have thought that's what was required around here, but this shot here is just hanging out to the right. Power threesome it is. This one's going to be uphill at the start of this putt. It's going to take a little bit of a break to the right and it's going to break back to the left as it goes down the hill again. You know what's interesting, Karen? I was looking at the statistics. Yesterday, the entire field averaged 33 putts per round. The LPGA scoring average for putts this season is 29.7. That's just how big and tough these greens are to putt. They are intimidating. I didn't realize you voiced those pieces. Amazing. <laughs> Second at the 13th for Jin Young Ko. This is a seven iron. A little bit of helping wind here, too. It's going to be on the correct level. Yeah, should have a chance for birdie. Still play for the big bounce. It's it's uh, quite the dilemma at the minute for the players as they're playing. Not her best there. Championship in Singapore. This one for a par. No. Shocking there, Karen, to see the three part from Jin Young Ko. Definitely not expecting that at all. Doing so, the, the fairway really does narrow down with regards to your options. The run through on the right and making that carry on the left. This one's going to carry over the bunker. Oh, it did not carry the bunker. It's in the bunker. Now that's a huge mistake. For Jin Young Ko at 14. Yeah, she's not going to try and hit the green here from 
with that lip in front of her. That was just the case of the rain, Karen, as to why she didn't carry. Such a foreshadowing of what we would come to see later on on tours around the world. I know a lot of my contemporaries and those types of events. Lousy as it is, you've got all sorts of uh, little girls out there watching their role models in golf. Jin Young Ko with a beautiful save after the tee shot found the bunker. That kind of uh, puts a little correction on that slide, which saw her bogey two of the three. Pre At the 15th, Jin Young Ko. I think uh, using this club here, not using the driver, this is an effort to stay short of the bunker that creeps in at 260. Yeah, She's that's... flirted with the left one. What a fortunate bounce that is. That could have been in a lot of trouble. The flag near the back today. You've got plenty of chance to run it back there. Yeah, coming off a bit of a downslope, hitting to an elevated green. It's just an awkward visual, but takes advantage of that break. She got off only Dave Brooker, her caddy standing off to the side there is very helpful. Makes for stress-free golf, Karen. You know what makes it very comfortable too, and, and the reason she's able to do it is she takes the emotion out of it, really. You know, the, the emotional response to a bad shot, shot in the last hole doesn't mean you have to be aggressive coming into the next hole. You still play your plan. Co with the mist in the background. Yeah, this is a five foot for her, and this five foot is cutting through this murky air quite nicely on a good line. Is it ever? Let's see if this comes back off this dent backstop a little bit. Yeah. So get even better here. Jin Young Ko set up for a birdie here. Jin Young Ko had it to three under just a little while ago. Then had bogeys and now chipping away, getting it back to two under with a couple of par fives left. Get a chance to take a look at the 17th tee shot. Here's Jin Young Ko. Got to get a good one down the way here just to make that second shot easier over the Sahara. Uh, it's going to drift into the rough. It makes it so much more difficult when you're coming out of the wet rough. It's not a graduated rough situation here. It just goes fairway straight into the thick stuff. I believe that was one of the Gilhan's restoration initiatives. She's aiming down the right. Fade. It's going to stay there. If it stays on the green, that is a really good effort. It's going to be close. Looked like a birdie putt the whole way, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. And probably just enough space there behind the ball that she can make a normal putting stroke. <laughs> Maybe so. I mean, if she goes ahead and wins, you never know, but. Got to make it to be eligible for the plaque. Absolutely, I think so. yeah. Although I think, and you feel in her shoes, you'll take a part yeah, all day long. Yeah, absolutely. After that tee shot into the rough, the most form, I think. Yep. You know, Nelly, a little bit of the unknown because she's coming back fresh from injury, and Lydia just hasn't been on top that speed. Headed this left. one's going left. That it is way left. In danger, it's up and dry, but that was close. I wonder if that's... Ko, who was in that rough left, now playing her third. She hit a beauty at 17. Let's see what she can do from 173. Yeah, this one plays quite steeply uphill as well. It's a good strike. Yep, gets it onto the surface. Long way away for Birdie, as we are pleased to be joined by Laura Nowinski, U.S. Deputy Chair. And the right data in to her hands to help uh, to help us win. Go Team USA. Well, Laura Nowinski of KPMG, thanks for what you're doing in this game, and uh, thanks for joining us again. And let's uh, hope for maybe a little sun this weekend. Yes, we'll see. indeed. Thanks, right. thanks, Dan. Thank you, Laura. That was Jin Young Ko coming up well short for Birdie at 18. So now she's got a lengthy one there to get in at two under. Just from the way the hole is tilted off, off the left side of the green there. Oh. It's a tricky spot there, Karen. You think it's going to break 
away from that mountain, away from the clubhouse, and the very right side of this green is actually sloped back, and it's confused almost everybody who's gone through there today. Even with the bogey at the last, it's a six.